Hey guys, I'm Maniacal Red Panda, and welcome to my little Dungeons and Dragons roleplay series, maybe? Um, I'm in a little boat with my roommate over there, and he's traveled with me all this way from my home to this little port town of Yulrefan. We're currently docked on the edge of Dragon's Reach, which is in Faerun, and for all of those guys out there and girls who don't know exactly what Dungeons and Dragons is, it's totally like a roleplay acting game that you can play with your friends, and it's based on fantasy things like The Lord of the Rings. But um, me and my friends always play Dungeons and Dragons together, and I've made a campaign before in the past, and I decided it would be really fun to try and make a campaign and play it in Minecraft with you guys. And I'm really going to play this campaign with my friends in real life. So I'm actually going to develop this story all the way through to the end. I already have an ending in mind. I have a lot of key points along the way I want to hit. So hopefully this series will actually really stick around. I know that I don't do good on my promises and stuff, but I really feel strongly about this one. And right now we're here in the ship together with our roommate, Yulrefan. And I'm going to become the city's new resident witch. I'm playing a half red panda, half human girl. Or maybe like, I was thinking that she's like a kitsune, which is a fox one, but she'd be like a red panda kitsune. And my name is Alaris Hemera. And in my um, Skyblock City, my Skyblock series with um, Izzy the Mage, I'm also going to be named Alaris Hemera Villager. So, in this series, I'm going to try and stay true to like the magic class. I've got a bunch of potions in my inventory, and I'm going to be making a lot more. And potions are going to be my main weapons. Also in here, I've got myself sword and a bow that I'm going to be using. But besides that, I want to try and throw a bunch of splash potions at people. And from here on out, I'm just going to be Alaris Hemera, trying to make her way in life and trying to find a home in this new city that she's come to. I've dropped everything to be here. I've left my family and my friends. I've come here to this new city to make a life for myself. So I really want to show the world that I can make it out on my own. Alright, let's go see Ilverfine and see if I can find a place to set up shop. So this is our ship. There's a lot of people here. Here it is. This is the city. This is Yilrefan. I've heard that a lot of elves lived here, and it used to be a really big elven city. But nowadays it's just kind of homogenized into a bunch of different kind of things. Let's go. Ah. I meant to do that. They didn't have any planks or anything for me to walk on now, did they? Um... But let's just swim to port. I'm used to swimming. I'm a water witch and all. You know, brewing know, potions and things. Help! See you in there. I'm stuck. Um, can I climb up from here? Oh gosh. You know, oh, I think I can jump up here. I was about to say, maybe I should just break something. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. In our new town, just as the sun started to rise. Uh, there was a lot of commotion on the ship, but now it's just kind of empty. Um, this looks like it could be this is some kind of inn. I think so. Um, maybe we should go in there and ask them if there's any like. Houses or anything, but it doesn't seem to be in there. Anyone in there? Let's let's go check it out. Uh, uh, hello? Is 
Is anyone here? Wow. I mean, I guess they did arrive, like, right as the day started to dawn. I'm Alaris Himura. I just got off the ship from Polar Bear Island. Is this your inn? I'm just curious, but um, are you an elf? I've never seen an elf before. I'm a red panda, so I feel like we're kind of similar. Um, I saw that you have paint on your fingers. Are you a painter? Actually, I was looking for someone to ask if there are any houses for sale. I'm a witch and I'm going to be setting up a potion shop. Perfect! That's just what I need! Thank you! Sorry I woke you up so early. I will be there. I know I need the money. You said you met a red panda before, though? Were they possibly a paladin, or did they use magic and make potions like I do? I know my parents used to live here. Oh, well, they're, um, dead. Hopefully I'll find out what happened to them. Someday. Nice. That was really helpful. I really like Corvina. She was cool. Um, oh, it looks like there's more people coming out. Nice. Alright, looks like this is a steal. She said that we need to go to the bank and it was right over here somewhere. Oh, where are you going? Well, this looks like the bank. Um, yes, yes, this is the bank. All right, great. Um, I wonder if the guy who owns this place is in yet. <laughs> that wouldn't happen to be you, would it? Uh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alaris. I wanted to set up a potion shop here, and what's wrong with your eye? Oh, wow. Maybe I could try to get that back for you sometime. But I need to know if you have any open houses that could possibly become shops or with extra rooms for a shop. Um, this one. This one's perfect. Here you go. Yes, my first house. Oh, wow, that's basically all the money I brought with me. But it'll be fine. I can pay that. I mean, I'll make money off my potions anyways. Let's do it. All right, now I have a house of my own. Um, let's go find it and check it out. Oh, over here is the map. I don't want it to get blown up. Alright, here's the city. It never really had a name to begin with, but now it's the city of Yilrifan, and it's a medieval city created by Vinjiv. B I N J I V B. Thank you very much for making this wonderful medieval city. Alright, let's go find our home and try not to die or blow anything up. I'm sure I'll have to pay for that if I end up blowing something up. So let's try to be sneaky. Um, we can climb up here. Oh gosh. Uh, let's see if we can jump over there. I feel like he sees me. Okay. Yep, he totally sees me. 
Oh gosh. Okay. I'm gonna make a run for it. I think my house is over here somewhere. Let's go! Run! Oh, I hear lots of noises. Here's our house. Um. This place is so pretty. Oh, I think this is it. Um, I saw that potion sign down there. Did you guys see that? It's already a potion shop. Okay. Oh, here's our beautiful little house. It's so cute. I love it. It's got a little garden out front and everything. I wonder who our neighbors are. I wonder if I can see in. Look at these doors. That's interesting. Hmm. Oh, look. Is that our neighbor? Is he a wolf or she? I don't want to get too close. I don't want to disturb them. I guess we'll go ahead and go to bed. So this is the downstairs. And this will be my little shop. That's pretty cool. And then we'll live up here in our little house. I'm really excited to furnish it and make it really homey and nice and decorated. Oh, this will be so great. This is the first step to really making a home for myself and a life in this new village. I can't wait to meet our neighbors and see what they're like. Alright, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Ah. Nice new day in my house. I haven't really met much with our neighbors, but I have saved up a little bit of money and started furnishing our house. This is my bedroom. Got some books and a little chair to sit. This door is really awkward because it leads to the outside. But you know, maybe when we become really good friends with our neighbors, we can jump out on the roof and say hey to them. That'd be really cool. I've been kind of leaving my books all over on the floor. Got my swads and watermelon. I'll show you guys the rest of the house. So this is like a little seating area with my plant. And down here is the kitchen. I've got this big beautiful painting. This is my dinner from last night. And this is the kitchen. I love this texture pack, guys. Like, oh my gosh, it's so good. This is Halcyon Days. And all of this is from Halcyon Days, too. This is actually carpet that I have on top of these crafting tables. It's so amazing. And I have a little balcony out to the beautiful village. It's gorgeous. All right, let's go set up shop for today, and I'll show you guys the little setup that I have. I'm actually kind of concerned that I have these openings in my roof. I might want to talk to somebody about that. I put some plants out in them, but that's totally big enough for somebody to get in here. It's pretty creepy. I wonder how our wolf neighbor is doing. Hey. I'll have to go introduce myself soon. But let's be careful of creepers. I need to get some stuff in my inventory. And I'll show you guys how I've decorated the shop. So this is my storefront. It's witch surfaces, spells, potions, and magic. This is also from the Halcyon Days texture pack. This is a piece of glass. Isn't that nice? And this is where you can come and buy wares from my store. Doesn't it look so good? These are, um, droppers. They look like little shelves. Oh, they're so cute. I love this place. Let's step on inside and I'll show you guys around. From this shop, I can make all the potions we need, some enchantment books. I can enchant anything that the villagers would like me to, brew any potions they need for any ailment. And yeah my little setup. I've got some potions in here and you know, do some golden apple things. I only have one right now. I'll have to go mining and such and I've got all of my 
ingredients and things that I'd need. It's really great. And I have these trap doors up here that lead to my house. There's actually a little secret piece of carpet in my um, kitchen that I can just scoop up and look inside my chest. I'll probably put monies in here and stuff. I spent all of the money that I had collected on my furniture and things upstairs, but we'll have more. And I have some food in my pocket, so we're okay. So let's see if any customers will come by and see our shop. You know, I may need to go like place advertising or something somewhere. Like I could get this little sign and place it around the town. Be like, come and visit Lara Samara's potion shop for all of your potion -y needs. I'm not gonna sell any harming potions or poison potions or things like that because that's a little dastardly. I have them to myself for self-defense, but I don't know if I would feel right selling our customers harming potions and poison potions. Like, I don't know what they're gonna do with that kind of stuff. Like, who knows? Oh, look at us. <laughs> I'm so cute. This is amazing. I love this. Um, anybody need potions? Potions shop, we're open. Oh, well, I'll get some magic for you right away. Um, you look like you're a blue dragon. I feel like I've seen you working over there at the gym's shop, right? Oh, so you're my neighbor. I think we'll make a good pair. A dragon and a red panda. I'm a Laris, by the way. All right, got your pickaxe. Let's see. Uh, efficiency. There's efficiency too. Do you just, there's only two. Is that okay? All right. I'll get you efficiency two then. You know, have you heard that there's something going on in the jungle recently? I've heard that there's some ghouls in there. Have you heard anything about that? Huh. Treasure in the haunted jungle? Sure, I'll go with you. And if you split your treasure with me, then I'll give you some of the treasure that I'm probably going to get from the guy who wants his eye back from the ghouls. That's why I was interested. One more person? Oh, thanks. Oh, bye. Bye, Fiddlin. Trail Chaser Tavern after the Spring Harvest Festival. Okay. I wonder who the other person she's going to bring is. Well, we've got a good bit of money going on now. I guess it's about time to head off home. She's right, I'm going to need some more potions if we're going to be going on some big quest. Fighting ghouls and who knows what all else we're going to find. I'll need a lot more magic. Alright, I guess let's head off to bed. Sablin seemed pretty cool. She was really excited. She kind of yelled a lot, but that's okay. Go out on our roof. Oh boy, can I jump this? Okay, bye, Sadelin. Oh, hey, are you my wolf neighbor? Hey, Sadelin, 